So we're here with um, Will Clark here on our favorite night of the year, Autism Acceptance Night. This is, Will, I think the sixth or seventh time we've been with you. This is the sixth or seventh time that y'all have been with me. This is year number 16. Is it 16? 16 for the, for the Autism Night here at the uh, ballpark. All right, well, that's impressive. Um, what number is this Autism Awareness Night for you? How many have you hosted? Is this one different? Uh, this one is definitely different because it's a lot bigger. This is year number 16 for us, Will. So this has been an ongoing event. The Giants have been great to help sponsor this, and we've, wear, we've raised a lot of awareness. How is the, how is the autism world... How has the autism world changed since you got involved? So when I got involved, it, it was one in 150 kids had autism. And needless to say, that number has dropped dramatically. And uh, so we're still looking for a cure. Will, have you attended any Autism Awareness Night games for other teams yet? No, I have not, John. That was a great question. Uh, though I do know that a lot of other teams are doing Autism Awareness Nights but I have not in, been involved uh, with anybody else. Okay, are you involved in any other ways in the autism community? Yes, as a matter of fact, believe it or not, we have two new sponsors this year, and uh, so we're bringing uh, more people, more involvement into the uh, Autism Awareness Society. How has Autism Awareness Night been an influence of, for the autism, com autism spectrum? Well, I think that because of the awareness that we have created here at the ballpark, I think there's more awareness around the Bay Area and nationwide, and I hope it continues to get bigger and better. I'll just be a little more direct. How do you feel about the Giants this year? Oh, well, we, um, we're easing here into the month of September. Uh, we're lagging a little bit in the uh, wild card race. We need to get hot, and uh, tonight would be a great night to get hot and get it started. You still giving advice at the plate? I do. As a matter of fact, as you can tell, I'm in uniform right now. I just got off the field. Uh, we had some early hitting with some of the guys, and uh, – We'll see if they uh, pay attention or not. Fantastic. We appreciate so much. My pleasure, right Jim. Thank you. Alejandro? Yes, just one question. Thanks so much for having us. Um, how do you see or what, what do you expect from the community in support of this uh, autism as a community? You know what? That's Every year it seems like it gets bigger and better, and I know that we have like 250 participants in this Triples Alley appearance right here, plus we're pretty much expecting a packed house here for the game tonight. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate, appreciate it. it. Uh, yes, for people who may not know, uh, do you have a personal connection with autism? I do have a personal connection. So my son ha has autism. Uh, he's had it since he was two. He's gotten a lot better. He's, he's way, way more social now. But uh, it was one of those things that because of my involvement with my son, that's why I decided to use our platform and, and bring it to the public. And thank, thank you for doing that. My pleasure. All right. Thank you. Hi, we're here tonight at uh, Giant Stadium before the game for the uh, annual Autism Awareness event. And we're lucky enough to have the great Dave Drabecki with us that we're gonna ask a few questions to and some members of the uh, autism community. I'll give uh, Dave the mic and then we can have our guys ask a couple questions. Dave, what is your best autism moment for the Giants? Well, I think uh, for me personally, um, it's actually through my friend, Will Clark. And I love the fact that Will is actively involved in this and for obvious reasons because of his son, Trey. But Will's commitment to autism awareness um, is very inspiring and encouraging to me. And so my whole reason for being here tonight is to be a support um, to Will and to autism awareness because of his involvement. Um, it's, it's great to be here. Um, um, we, we were here to support Will, Will Clark and, and the Giants. Uh, we're, we're always glad for Autism Awareness Night. It's always a highlight for, the, for us. Thank you, Dave, so much for having us. I'm a parent of two autistic uh, young kids. How did you get involved? What other uh, activities besides this do you have in mind for uh, the community, for the awareness for autism? Yeah, you know, I think um, as it relates to autism awareness, obviously it's telling the story. And the stories come through families, families with children with autism. And I think um, this is just one aspect of creating awareness in the community is being able to come to a place like this where everybody knows about the San Francisco Giants. And they all know because we have number 22 up there that was um, retired um, yeah. last year. And so as a result of that, Will brings great awareness to the issues around autism and families with children with autism. And so it's a really powerful thing when you can get a Major League Baseball club like the San Francisco Giants who care so much 
about their community and their and their alumni. And as a result of their care for their alumni, what their alumni are involved in, they get involved in. So that's how we bring awareness. And then it's just going out and telling the story. Okay. No, I work with uh, young adults uh, to become independent, um, young adults with autism and other um, learning uh, differences. Um, you ever heard the words that you don't look at this thing? Oh, I've heard those words, yes, yes. And, and I think it's important that when we talk about autism that people are made aware, you know, because I think it's really important. You can miss the reality that someone is struggling and has autism. And, and as a result of that, once again, it's why we call Autism Awareness Night awareness, because it's important to bring awareness to autism so that people can be aware and understand, and as a result of that, step in and help. And that's the most important thing. This community is about helping people. The more awareness you bring to autism, the more people are going to step in and help. And that's the most important thing. Tell us about the background of Autism Awareness Night. Yeah, this is the 16th year, I believe, of Autism Acceptance Night here at the ballpark. Um, this is only my second season with the Giants, so really happy to see what this night has become over the years. And it's really just about making sure baseball is inclusive of everybody. You know, baseball is meant for everybody. Everybody can enjoy baseball and um, just be at the ballpark and have fun. And that's what this night is about. We, the Giants, have a great ambassador in Will Clark who can help raise awareness and, and really make the night a special night for everybody. Hi, I'm, I'm here with Ella Clark. We, Ella, Ella we, we had you on last year and we're glad to have you back again. Tell us about some of your activities in the autism community. Well, in the autism community, uh, I live in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and one of the nonprofit organizations that we have there that I work with a lot is Battle Against Autism. And what that is, is it is a fundraiser and auction uh, event for um, resources and all of that good stuff for people with autism and families who have uh, someone that they know with a disability. Great. Um, what number is this autism acceptance night for you? How many have you hosted? Is, is this one different? Well, I have been coming to this event uh, ever since I was a little girl. I've been coming to this ballpark ever since I can remember. And it's always so special to be here. And I always love seeing y'all every year. So this is, um, I, can't even, I can't even remember what number. I'm 22 years old, so this is probably like my 10th. I don't know. <laughs> But it's always so much fun, and we have such a great turnout every single year. I'm so excited and so happy to see everyone coming to support for such a, an amazing cause. Tell us about some of your activities outside the game. I, I hear you just won a beauty contest. Well, I didn't just win a beauty contest, but I did compete for Miss Louisiana USA back in February, <laughs> and I got top 10, so I'm very excited about that, very happy. But... As of right now, I'm just continuing my schoolwork. I am on my last semester at Louisiana State University, majoring in public relations with a minor in sociology. So I'm very excited to be graduating here in December, and that's about it. Hi, I'm Wesley with Ascend TV, and I'm with Trey Clark, Will Clark's son. So first of all, Trey, why does it feel like going to the Autism, Autism Awareness House Acceptance night games here at Oracle Park well I've been uh, going here since um, I've been going here since uh, 2009 and it's a great cause for the for the Giants uh, we're, we're very dedicated every year to do this and um, I'm very thankful and uh, for my family and uh, very thankful that that we're here in San Francisco doing this a lot and uh, it's a great cause like I said and that's about it. I'm glad that you and your entire family is able to be part of the Autism Awareness slash Acceptance Night here at Oracle Park. And what, how, what causes have you and your have you that your dad and or your family been supporting when it comes to autism and people with disabilities? Okay. Well, well, for, it first happened when, uh, well, in '98 uh, we. Uh, we, uh, our, my family discovered that I had autism, and then in '99, when we moved to uh, Baltimore, in Baltimore, and um, 
We, uh, I would go to John Top, John, Johns Hopkins uh, Hospital, and um, and I would uh, we would do certain do certain skills and stuff like that, and uh, it, it it really helped me a lot, and really helped me a lot in uh, over over the years, and uh, and th and I'm really thankful that for the Johns Hopkins Hospital uh, thing, and uh, and I'm very yeah, and ah. Uh, uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> so I'm glad that the John Hopkins, Hosp John Hopkins Hospital has been helping you out, basically. And it's and it's a pleasure chatting with you about your your experience with autism and how your and and, ha and how the and, and how you've been attending attending the Giants of Autism Awareness slash Acceptance Night games over the years, basically. So I want to say thank you for your, thank you for your time, um, Trey. Now back to you. Hello, my name is Wesley Lamb, along with our, my broadcast colleagues Will Burnick and John Hammond on of Ascend TV, Life on, Life on the Autism Spectrum. And today we have two special guests for attending the Giants Autism Awareness slash Acceptance Night. And, th and they are, please introduce my guests at this time, Diane and Ryan. So Diane and Ryan, welcome to the show. So first of all, how Diane and Ryan, I know you two are related to Sergio Romo, but how are you related to um, him? How are we related to what? How are you guys related to Sergio Romo? Uh, before we get started, my niece is Melinda's husband, and that's Melinda's cousin. That's amazing. So first of all, how have how many times have you attended the Giants Autism Awareness Such Acceptance Night event? Um, actually, this is our first night, so thanks for having us. So first of all, Ryan and, I, and Diane, I know that you two are related to Sergio Romo, but Sergio Romo, but one of the most popular Giants baseball players. But how are you related to Sergio Romo? Uh, he's my niece's husband and uh, Ryan's cousin. Speaking of autism awareness, that's acceptance day here at Oracle Park. Is this your first? Have you ever attended that event before? Uh, no, this is our first time here. It looks like a wonderful event tonight. First time, right? First time. Yeah. Yes, I, I, I because to be honest, autism awareness slash acceptance night is one of my favorite nights to go to the, for the for Giants games. But in fact, um, have you ever? Somebody look. In fact. What are you looking forward to tonight? For the Giants to win. For the Giants to win. Yes. And additionally, have you, because I know that, have you ever been to any autism awareness slash acceptance days or disability acceptance slash awareness days in any other ma major league or minor league ballpark? No, I haven't, but we do uh, go with the San Francisco uh, Autism Society. They have plenty of events and we're part of that. That's amazing. So can you tell me more about the uh, the San Francisco Autism Society, um, Well, they're Diane. a great, uh, they are a great organization that um, has many events for autistic children and people to be involved in. That's amazing. So um, that, that's amazing. So how do you first got involved into the, into the San Francisco Autism Society? Um, well, I Googled it, to tell you the truth. <laughs> I Googled it. You can never go wrong with Google, especially with their new Gemini AI. Right, that's right. So it's, we're honored to be here tonight. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, that, that's, that is amazing. So um, how have you been supporting your uh, cousin, um, Ryan? Uh, this is actually my son, Ryan. Your, your son, Ryan. I'm so sorry. My supporting apologies. him with doing all kinds of fun activities and uh, just getting out there, being part of the community. Now, how, and how has some Brian been involved with the, um, the, the autism awareness slash non nonprofits and organizations? Uh, well, he's involved in the sense that he does all the activities, and uh, he's also on the softball team for the Special Olympics, which is going to be September 21st. That would be amazing, considering that you know I love the Special Olympics, considering that you know they're like like Olympics for people with um, intellectual disabilities. I mean, I'm also ex I mean I did enjoy the Paris Olympics in this past summer as well as right now the Paris Paralympics or should I say the Summer Paralympics in Paris right now and I'm gonna hand over to my broadcast call my colleague um, Will he's gonna be asking some more questions. This is Take awesome. it away. Oh gladly. Um, um, first question um, uh, how, how many times have you been to Autism Awareness Night? Uh, this is our first night 
and Final uh, we're happy to be way. here. All right, we're very happy to be here. Thank you, guys. Oh, all right, thank you so much. Go. I'm here with Mrs. Clark, and um, we're thrilled to have you. And I know you did it all. And they really have a short. So, you know, you can Great, man. Just great job. I had my doubts about Fantastic bringing, job. yeah, I had my doubts about bringing that and all the equipment, but you put it together. So, and I assume we got the yes. stuff. All right. Yes. So we, I think the only ones we haven't interviewed um, are Amy G. But so I think she's up on the panel. This is she on the panel? Okay. Well, I'm, I'm so glad we did it early because I can see it's right. getting more.
We've had a great evening, and thanks to our friend Graham, who has really put this together. I think it's our best, Graham, our best autism awareness or autism acceptance night. You can see just the excitement and how much this has grown over the past year. So for our TV show, Ascend Life on the Autism Spectrum, I'm Mike Vernick. Here's Wes Lamb, John Hammond, Graham, Jim Brown, Will, and of course, Alejandro. We look forward to seeing you. Oh, and Greg Yates, our co-chair. I wouldn't miss him. We'll look forward to seeing you then next month. Thank you.